Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is something a little bit different to what I normally would do. Uh, as you can see on screen there, we've got this uh, young little elf sitting there in a, a pond, all dirty. Maybe she's been flying around and landed in a big pile of poo. Who knows what it is? But here she is, she's all dirty. And what I've got, I've set up this little scene with her where she is getting washed down in a pond and what i thought i would do is pre-light this scene and then go through each individual light showing you exactly what i've done with it and why but unlike normally which if i was doing a, an image straight up i would start off with some global illumination some ambient light in the scene then i would add other little lights into the scene just to do the you know just to get the effect that i want to get but this but what we're going to do in this video we're going to do it a little bit different we're going to do it in reverse what i'm going to do first i'm going to look at all the individual little lights on the black dark canvas that we've got show how they impact upon the fairy as she stood there and then put it all together uh, finally with the hdri that i use at the end and see what we've got hopefully you'll be when seeing these little individual lights uh in isolation you might get a better idea then of, of what i'm doing when i'm lighting scenes so and let's start turning on some lights and see what we get hey so if we were to come across over to this this side where the render settings are and give it a click you can see that we're on environment mode of scene only that means the only lights on the scene that, that's going to be in the scene are things like point lights and spotlights and if there was any emissives but we're not using any in here and if we therefore were to come across to nvidia ira just to double check that we can see that everything is black there's nothing in scene uh, we're just highlighting our model there what that means then there's no lights in scene there's no hdri there's nothing there will be a hdri at the end of the video but for now we're just going to come up to the the scene tab and you see i've got a little directory here a little folder called lights and in there i've placed three lights i'm trying to keep to the conventions of the three point lighting system by the way we, we did a video on that a while back and what i have in here is a fill light a rim light which are part form part of your three-point lighting system and i've also got a wing light in there just to highlight one of the wings from the the, the fairy as she stood there my main light if we keep talking about the three-point lighting system my main light is going to be the hdri so we're not dealing with that at the moment we're just going to look at the the fill light the rim light and the wing light so i'm going to start with the rim light which is usually the light you would put in last or i would put in last uh, and what i'm going to do if i just turn this light on you can see the effect that this light gives now you can see the lights just up here it's just almost off top if i come to the perspective view we can have a little float around and we can see where it is so this is the light that we've got here in our scene that i'm using as my rim light and if we were to come down to the light tab and take a look at what we've done with it uh you can see there that there's very little that is just a basic standard light that i've added in a spotlight just pointing down on the back of the fairy's head nothing's changed it's still the same lumens it's still the same temperature it's still a point light nothing's changed it's just a standard light i've put in there nothing else added to it so yeah so we've got a rim light into the scene now and the rim light is just there to to light up the back of our model and to separate her out from the background a little bit and so we've got a rim light there so what i'm going to do i'm now going to turn that rim light off uh, and in the darkness i'm going to come back to my main camera and i'm now going to turn on this wing light now obviously this is just my own light it's not part of a, a three points lighting system or anything like that it's just my own little light that i'm adding in there because when i turn it on you can see that i'm just adding a little bit more light from this direction and the main reason is because i want to light this wing up that she's got on her back just to put it a little bit of color into the scene a bit of color there anyway but a little bit more color a little bit more shabazz uh from the wing that she's got but of course it, it gives the added benefit also of just lighting up this side of the uh, her body as well so you can possibly argue and say it's a second rim light uh we'll have one on this side light in this side of her head and then we'll have one in this side also so we, we basically got two rim lights there now the third and final light uh, of the uh, the scene lights that we've got if we turn wing light off is to put on the fill light now the fill light the purpose of the fill light is to to brighten up any dark areas or any shadows that you might have so the inclusion of a fill light here is just for me to light up the front of the model 
uh, when the key light, which would be the HDRI, is doing its stuff, but there's maybe a few little dark areas still. And so I'll use this fill light, which I place, and it's more or less in front of the model, to just fill her up a little bit like this, okay? Now if I just come out to the perspective view, and spin around, wherever it is, so the fill light is just uh, this light that we can see here. It's just shining straight into a face. And like what we did with the, the, the rim light, if we give it a click and select it, and then just have a look down at the settings, we can see that the, the only thing that we've changed is we've increased the, the lumens up to 3,000. So we've basically doubled the, the lumens in that light. Uh, nothing else has changed. It's just a basic bog standard point, uh, spotlight. And we've just increased the lumens uh, by two by a factor of two. Uh, so if we come back now to our camera and we put all of our scene lights into the scene, so we add the wing light and then we add the rim light, this is what we end up with uh, just using the scene lights. And so the final thing that we'd have to add would be the HDRI. So if we just turn all those lights off again, because I wanted to have a look at the HDRI in isolation, if we take those three lights off again, and then come back over to our render tab, and instead of having it on scene only, we're going to want to place it onto dome and scene. Dome, because we're using the HDRI, and scene, because uh, we're going to be adding scene lights in, obviously, that we've just had a look at. So we'll click it onto dome and scene, but what will happen now, the HDRI that I've got in place will now come onto the screen, as you can see. Uh, and so what we've got, we've got the sun shining down. But yeah, so if we now come across and we have a look at uh, the settings over here on the HDRI, uh, this is the HDRI map that I'm using, which you can see there. Unfortunately, I can't give you that because that comes out of a package that I bought, so I can't actually give you that. I'll put a link in the uh, description below if, if you want to get your hands on that uh, particular HDRI. And that is the HDRI that we're using. And the settings that we've got, they're all just basically default. We've got a value of 50 in there and the Y orientation. But the dome rotation zero, everything's just as it was as it came out the box. Uh, and what we've got down here is we've just got a few ground reflections, a little bit of fog that we've added in there just to jazz things up a little bit. But nothing that's going to massively impact upon the lightning in the scene. That's just the HDRI. So it's very simple very simple on the hdri it's very simple on the scene lights that we've got over here but now if we turn it all on and we add all the the lights on that we've got everything comes together the hdri light which is our main light the fill light just to brighten the front up a little bit and of course our two rim lights in the the rim and the wing uh, light that we've got there just to help us stand out from the background a little bit now for something that i've just really knocked up in 30 minutes there before this video started i'm not really going to complain with that uh, i don't think that's a bad image at all uh and if of course i was to drop it into photoshop and we were to see it with a little bit of color grading on it uh overall i'm perfectly happy with that and i hope that you can uh get some enjoyment out of looking at it likewise for the entirety of the video uh that's it uh if you want me to do a few more videos like this you know where i do a scene and then break it down and all the anatomy of, of what i've done in the scene then by all means let me know that, that down down below in the comments and i'll do a few more of these i don't mind doing these they're okay uh likewise if you've got any questions about this scene or lighting or why i've done this or why i haven't done that then again drop them down below i'll happily answer what i can and if you've got any other general questions to do with daz uh just let me know down the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that if you do. Uh, and like and share and do whatever you want with the video. Uh, that will really help me out in the algorithm. So thanks for watching. I hope you've got something out of this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.